Hey there, welcome to Cole's Cozy Corner, a little space where I take a look at some cozy little games that I feel are perfect for a lazy weekend morning with sunshine coming through your window and that pair perfectly with your choice of tea. Lost Winds is a unique puzzle platformer that clocks in at about two to two and a half hours. Originally released as a WiiWare launch title in 2008, this game is thankfully available on Steam. It puts you in control of a young boy named Toku and a wind spirit named Enreal. Together you embark on a quest to restore Enreal's power and save your island, named Mistralis, from an evil spirit named Balasar, who once tried to take control of the island before being sealed away by Enreal and the other nature spirits. The battle was observed by some sus-looking villagers. Balasar was powerful, and Real needed to sacrifice himself, and lock himself away inside the Spirit Stone, with Balasar to finally seal him away. Eventually, Balasar's powers grew, and the Spirit was able to escape the sealed Spirit Stone of their own will, leaving Enreal trapped behind. One day, Toku is sleeping nearby to where Enreal's stone just so happens to be, and he's able to reach out to him and draw him near using the powers of wind. Upon Toku discovery in real, he is granted the power of gust. This is your main method of movement for objects in the environment, and it allows you to give yourself a boost to jumps. Your power of wind improves and expands as the game goes on, giving you the power of slipstream, which allows you to create a stream that directly guides an object on a path you make, and vortex, an ability that lets you supercharge an object to destroy walls. Eventually, you get the Jump Relic Cape that lets you fly through the air and glide large distances, like a Tanuki suit, without the need for a power buildup. The game has many great uses of your wind powers, but some of my favorites are the ones attached to the background. I just love the way you can interact with the background elements through your wind powers. Something about it is just so relaxing. For collectible lovers like myself, this game has 24 Melodia Idols to collect, one on each zone throughout the game. The game has few enemies, and they really aren't ever any trouble, which definitely helps with the cozy vibes. I think there's an implication that an old woman gets killed by these things because she's there when you enter the village, and replaced by some of these little enemies, and never seen from again, as far as I remember anyway. So, yeah, there's that. But we shouldn't let a little death get in the way of our cozy times now, should we? Cozy vibes live or die, that's the saying. Seriously though, it's a nice game to just look at, and the wind abilities are fun to use, and the game gets even more relaxing when you get the freedom that comes with the Jumbrella Cape. Don't believe me that this game is cozy? Well then, why does Toku just lay down and have a little nap if he's left to idle for too long? That's what I thought. Case closed. Cozy game. That finishes today's cup. Before you grab another, remember to set the kettle for two. Your new wind spirit companion will surely appreciate it. And they won't leave you with nothing. I'm sure they can cause a nice little breeze to come in to cool down your next cup. Hey, that sounds like a fair trade to me. Until next time, have a lovely rest of your day.